Hey, good morning, YouTubers and RV fans. Today's traveling day. Trip number two, headed to Jacksonville, Florida. So I've finished stowing a lot of stuff. Everything's ready to go in here. Over here. The dinette's ready, for the most part. A couple of things I still have to put away. And I, I had to put a reminder up here. Remember to secure the fridge. This is a household refrigerator, and I don't know if you can see this or not, but inside there's a hole and you put a device in there that secures okay, the doors. Okay, let's put this light in. The slides in don't have a whole lot of space but I could still travel through the RV which is okay but everything looks good a little wet all right onward hey youtubers and RV fans so we're on the road to Jacksonville um, setup was pretty easy no major issues or I shouldn't say setup but uh, hookup Everything hooked up is good. Um, trailer sounds good. A little squeaky when I first started off. I guess that's normal um, for you know making turns and stuff. But everything else looks good. So I'll be back in touch a little bit later. Right, guys so we're stuck in traffic big storm up ahead of me I'm um, not quite sure if there's an accident up here or if people have just slowed down because of the rain um, but boy it looks pretty pretty nasty up there so lots of lightning strikes you know maybe it's just me or maybe it's just Florida but every time I get on the highway man there is tons of traffic absolutely tons of traffic it's a lot easier to manage with my uh, truck and travel trailer than it was with Myrtle. Um, you know, I can see, it feels like I can buzz around a little bit easier, but Myrtle was pretty tough to manage all this traffic in. So I'm liking the new setup, it's working real good. You know, you can tell that the trailer's a heavy load on the truck, but it's not beyond what the truck can handle, it's just heavy. So, as I'm driving up here, it looks like there is an accident because I see police lights. What's going on? And I'm not even sure I'm in the right lane. I think I am, but who knows. That's the challenge. These lanes up in Tampa, they shift, you know, exit only, and then you got to get over and back and forth. And it's, I like traveling on I-10 because I-10 has two lanes. <laughs> I guess the parts of I-10 that I've traveled anyway. That thing's huge. And uh, looks like a Ram 2500 is pulling that baby. Oh, of course, lane ends at a thousand feet. See, that's my point. Jeez. Come on, buddy. Help me over. That guy in the fifth wheel let me over. That was nice of him. Our viewers are great people. They really are. You know, I think I think we're all in the same boat together. We know the challenges of traveling on the road and you know, so it's real nice. Real nice. 
but yeah, no, I like um, I like the truck and the travel trailer. I got to tell you, the truck's been doing great. It's in uh, it's in tow haul mode, and um, transmission shifting beautiful. I I haven't really gotten up beyond 2200 RPMs. Um, you know, and I know I'm traveling in Florida with some pretty, you know, flat surfaces, but you know, there's been some good hills that we've uh, we've we've, we've uh, encountered. So it's not like it's all flat. Let's see what else to tell you. Oh, I'm getting 11 miles to the gallon pulling this uh, this trailer. Now, normally I get about 19 miles to the gallon without the trailer hooked up, but with the trailer I get about 11. So that's better than I was getting with Myrtle. With Myrtle I was getting seven miles to the gallon. So, okay, so for all of you newbie RVers out there, map out your gas stations. Um, you know, I did not do that on this trip and I am going completely out of my way to find a gas station that I can fit into. Uh, so map your map your gas stations because it's crazy to um, you know get down to a certain amount of gas and then know that you can't find a gas station where you can fit your rig into. Nuts! I have a half a tank rule where I get gas at a half a tank. I'm a little bit below a half a tank right now because I did not have the opportunity to get gas, and so I'm trying to get to a gas station. And of course, I pull off the exit and go into a gas station that's massively packed and I'm sitting there waiting and waiting I'm blocking traffic and so you know I finally just backed up and pulled out and I thought I saw loves and I did and guess what the loves was under construction so I've gone about 12 miles outside of my way to try and find a gas station and uh, that's what we're doing right now. okay the saga over gas is over um, I ended up getting stuck in traffic on I-75 because of, of multiple accidents due to this terrible weather. And so I'm having a little bit of a panic attack over the gas situation. But anyway, make a long story short, I ended up pulling off at an exit and was able to get gas. And so that relieves a little bit of stress. Um, but the weather, man, I think I've had one perpetual thunderstorm the entire trip and I'm headed into another one so I think you just saw that lightning strike it's been pretty crazy um, the RVs handle beautiful though no issues the trip has been very nice other than the rain and the traffic I'm gonna be pulling off here onto 301 and I'll be heading north from there so maybe I'll get a little bit of a break from this traffic all right I'll catch you later <laughs> So I got to Jacksonville. Um, I'm slowly but surely creeping my way to the uh, RV park. And uh, but boy, what a drive! Tons and tons of rain. Um, I guess I picked a great day to drive, man. I should have looked at the weather. I did look at the weather. The weather looked actually fine. There was only a 40% chance of rain. But you know, Florida's unpredictable, especially in the summertime, because you end up with this absolutely humid and hot weather that builds these storms so anyway I'm here and uh, I'm happy to be in Jacksonville uh, it's been a long day of driving definitely but all in all it's been good um, towing the RV is so much easier than driving Mert anyway thanks for going along with me on the drive I'll um, finish out this video maybe tonight or tomorrow with some parting thoughts uh, until that time I gotta drive because it's nasty out okay so I made it to the RV park um, hanging out with Mike and Don and he's escorting me in right now and that's really cool um, Jacksonville was a challenge with all the rain you can see all the water on the ground it's pretty flooded here so I don't know. It's pretty crazy. 
but I'm real happy to have to have gotten here and it's gonna be wonderful to hang out with Mike and and uh, Don for a little bit of time just wanted to tie up this video and let you know that I arrived in Jacksonville safely um, it was a very good trip the truck and the trailer did magnificently um, you know it's funny because you get to learn the nuances of driving with a trailer and uh, she pulled really good no problems at all and in fact um, uh, I stopped at a Loves on the way up here and I actually got the whole rig weighed and the balance that I received in weighing the RV and the truck together was perfect um, the balance and the axles uh, for both the drive axle and the um, the trailer itself was great. Now remember the trailer's dry weight was 5,300 pounds and the weight on the axles was 5,820 pounds. So, and the drive axle was just a little bit less than 2,900. So we're in really good shape. So overall, the gross vehicle weight, both the truck and the trailer, was just under 11,580. I'm sitting here in Jacksonville with some friends and uh, we're gonna be here for a week. Uh, before we head out to um, Asheville and so I'm looking forward to a productive week of visiting with some wonderful amazing people and then heading out uh, and tackling the mountain uh, for those of you who had any issue with my echo boost let me tell you what this truck's got some power pull that trailer up these little Florida hills without any problem now the challenge is going to be to see how well she does pulling up on the mountain but one of the things I do need to do is I need to learn how to work that brake controller just a little bit better. Um, and I will. I will. Overall, it was a great trip. Great learning experience for me. And uh, loving the new setup, folks. Loving the new setup. All right. Thanks for coming along with me on this trip to Jacksonville. And um, I'm going to try and get some better footage as, I, as we head out uh, to, to the mountains. Um, I've got some different camera positions I'm going to be using. So bear with me. Uh, gonna be it's gonna be interesting all right have a great day